Natalia is the very newest person yeah. at the University of Michigan. <laughs> yes. So welcome. Thank you, thank you. So I'm Natalia Umana, I'm a plant community ecologist and new assistant professor at EVM. Uh, so we know that the tropical forests are highly diverse, even when we just learned that they are not as diverse as the other uh, micro community uh, communities, microbial communities. Uh, but to give you an idea of how diverse and the magnitude of the, 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 the diversity of uh, these tropical forests, let me put you an example. So the number of trees that you can find in two hectares of a tropical forest is the same or equivalent to the number of tree species that you can find in the entire North America. And on top of that, let, let's think that the number of the species of the tree species are distributed across a broad range of different conditions. While here in the area of two, uh, of the, uh, of two hectares of tropical forest, the conditions are almost the same. So uh, the emerging questions that come from this observation is uh, how can so many species coexist in one place? And what are the mechanisms that are driving this diversity? These are the type of questions that I'm interested in responding and to address this, um, uh, the working system in the tropical forest. So I have worked in the past in China. I have another project in Puerto Rico and Colombia, but now I'm planning to extend my research area into the temperate zone. And I'm planning to start a project in Michigan at the George Reserve. <coughs> and my approach consists of integrating information on functional traits. So the functional traits are those features of the organisms that mediate the interactions between individuals and the environment, and at the same time having an impact on performance, on growth survival, or reproduction. And this will ultimately will lead to the variations in community compositions that are the ones that I'm interested in. So this is the framework basically that I use uh, in, in my studies. And my methodology consists in going to the field, collecting a lot of different trade data and performance data on trees and seedlings, and then analyzing that with different statistical and modeling approaches. Um, and for courses, I'm planning to teach next fall a course in functional ecology. The idea with this course will be first to revise and discuss what has been done in the area of the functional ecology, and with that I'm planning to not only focus on plants, but also integrate some information uh, on, on other systems and other organisms. And as, as, as a second objective, o objective of this uh, functional course, my idea would be to also identify what are the main challenges that this uh, area is facing today. And one of the topics would be what is the role of the within uh, and across taxa uh, trade variation. Thank you. Yeah.